How's it going everybody? All right, well today what we've got is uh, every year I have to clean out my heater core. I don't know why, but uh, the reason why I know it's my heater core is, well, well my problems are as uh, my passenger side will be pretty, pretty hot, but my driver's side will be cool air in, in the winter time. So what I have to do is I have to blow out my heater core. I have to clean it out. And I've done a radiator flush. It lasts maybe a year or two and it seems like it's due again. So every year what I do is uh, I get them, you come right here, you take your air box up, you intake, get them out of the way. Then if you look right here on your water pump, you'll have these two hoses right here. I've disconnected these already and uh, I put a rubber band and a, and a piece of plastic over it just to keep all the antifreeze from draining out and to keep uh, from having a, such a big air pocket. It's going to have an air pocket now that we've uh, emptied out the heater core. Uh, some people have said that you can use CLR uh, and I've used that before. I've done it twice and both times I've had a I've had to replace my water pump. So I don't know what happens or what it does and I've, I've, I thought I flushed it pretty well but the, it, the wheat pole starts leaking a lot. And then, so I end up having to replace the water pump. So I'm not gonna do that this time. So what I do is, like I said, I disconnect both of the, both of the lines coming off the water pump. And if you'll follow them, they'll go right back to the back, way back there. And that would be hard to get to. So these right here are a lot easier. You just take off your, your breather box there and they're just sitting there looking at you. Uh, they'll be held on by these little clamps and the best thing for those i found is by scripts you just put them on there it locks in place and then you don't have to squeeze it and pull you just it's already locked so you just you just wiggle them off so now i've got my air compressor here and a bucket of water and so what i do is is don't i don't go wide open in there because I've heard too much pressure with air can uh, blow a hole through it. And we definitely don't want to do that. So I just put a little bit of water in there and I give it just a little bit of air to push anything that might be in there out. I do it both directions. So I'll try to set this up. Oh, another thing, wear safety glasses. I've had the hose turned back up and blow antifreeze water all over my face. So that's why I've got the glasses on here. So I'm going to try to blow this out real quick. Maybe, maybe the phone will hold still there. So first, I'm gonna get one of the hoses. Oh, another, another reason why I knew it was the heater core is because the, uh, you've got two lines that go in, one's in, one's out. So either which way, uh, after running my truck, I parked it and I reached in here and grabbed it. And one was a lot, one line was a lot cooler than the other. Uh, both of them were, one was really hot and then the other one was lukewarmish. So I knew that it was having problems circulating through there. Also, uh, another important thing is make sure you have plenty of uh, antifreeze. If you don't have enough antifreeze in there, then you don't have enough to make that circular, just circulate around there. So the way I had plenty of antifreeze. One line was cooler than the other. So that's a good indicator that the heater core is clogged up. Not using CLR, just water and air. So I get one of the hoses. This ain't gonna work, but, and I see stuff pouring out of the other, out of the other side there. I'm not, I'm not sticking it all the way in the hole, in the hole there. I'm just uh, about, maybe about an inch away, inch and a half away, and just blowing a little bit at a time. And there's steadily antifreeze coming out, so I'm gonna keep doing that at a time. All right, now, I want to make sure the other one's facing down. And this one, I had it facing down and pushed back so it wouldn't turn up on me. So now I'm going to get the other other line. Same thing. And now it's just it's just pushing out air. So now what I'm going to do? Just hang tight a piece of grass in my bucket you don't want to put grass through your heater core all right so now i'm going to get one of these lines here and a funnel this is a blue funnel just make sure it's really clean uh, i i just take i take a rag and wipe it out really well because you don't want to have any extra stuff going through there 
any junk or and like this is a protein bucket so i had to had to rinse it out really well i don't want my heater core to make gains all right so i just put a little bit of water in there i'm gonna take my funnel loose I reached way down there, grab my arrows, same thing, just bump it, just you know, keep it about an inch, inch and a half away. There it goes, just pushing it up the other side. Alright, so now it's getting air out there. So now we're going to get the, the other hose. Same thing. Grab my funnel, whatever I did with that. You have to be about like an octopus to do all this stuff. You, you could use about eight arms. Same thing. Put a little water in there. Not a whole lot. Just enough to push some air and water through it. Try not to make a mess. Take the funnel out. Same thing. Just go around to bump it and then we'll, we'll hold the air to it for a second. That's all it takes. So now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those rubber bands and that plastic off. I'm gonna connect my hoses back. Make sure you put your clamps back on because you don't want any antifreeze leaks. And then everything should be good to go. Now you're probably gonna have a problem with air. It should be able to burp itself, and get, get the air out. But if not, while it's warming up, you can take off this cap. Don't take it all the way off. Just kind of barely ease it up. Keep pressure on it. And the air will push itself out. Now, if it's fully warmed up, don't do that. Because you'll have antifreeze going anywhere. But while it's cooling, or while it's warming up, rather, you can uh, crack that cap and let some of the air out. Hope it helps. And good luck to you. Hopefully, your, uh, your heater will be working the way you need it to. Have a good one. All right. Well, just a quick update. Uh, with putting those rubber bands on and the plastic over the water pump i didn't lose very much antifreeze at all so i uh, i didn't have to unscrew the radiator cap to burp it at all it was still full i just buff it's gonna have an air pocket in there so your vehicle is gonna act like it's overheating because it's gonna have that pocket of air and so uh just make sure your reservoir is full that way it can burp itself and then uh, the antifreeze should circulate like it's supposed to because it my my thermostat gauge, it got all the way to the red where to the point where I was going to shut it off and double check everything. And then it dropped way down, then my heat got hot. But I had to drive it around the block here and uh, get that air pocket out. And then now I've got great heat on both sides. All right, good luck to you. Goodbye.